Hello, my friends at Life Vantage. Excited to have everybody here today. Uh, my name is Frank Leon. I'm your director over training, and we are excited because we had a lot going on this last weekend. So if you didn't hear, we were at the NASDAQ, and we were actually able to ring the bell. We had our CEO with all of our executives from the Life Vantage office there, along with our executives from the fields representing them as well. So that event was fantastic, and it was just great to be able to see all of us being represented there in New York. Um, that led into our Activate event. And if you weren't able to see it, I'm sorry. If you did register, just know that you will have that to view for 30 days because you got a fire hose worth of information. There was a lot going on within Activate as far as new stuff to see, look, and utilize. So what I ask you to do is take a step back, review those in portions so it's just not so overwhelming with that information, uh, but just knowing that that's the purpose of this week's trainings that we'll be doing. So today we're really going to be putting a big focus on hosting an event, you know, that launch guide that we utilize of just getting our newer folks in a place where they're out doing stuff, activating, and actually showing and having those meetings, whether it's a group of five, whether it's a group of 30, it doesn't matter. As long as you're out in front of people, having a good time, talking about the product, tasting it with them, that's really what those hosting event piece was talking about, is just kind of getting out of your shell a little bit. Um, I was at an event with Marisa Maggio Harrelson, and we kind of gave you guys an idea of what it would look like. Um, but again, make it your own. Put your own spin on it ensuring that your vibe is there and that you're hosting and utilizing the product that speaks to you, whether that's collagen, Axio, you know, our true science, whatever the product may be, something that people can try and taste and feel and really get a good experience out of it. So as I stated before, we're going to just review specifically around hosting an event. And rather than hearing that from Frank again, what I wanted to do is ensure that we had somebody who's in the field doing these events, having those sip and glows with the collagen and putting a big focus on that. So I asked my friend, managing consultant, Michelle Andrews, to join us today and just to give us some pointers on things that she's done because she's had a lot of success with enrollments through hosting these events. And this is why I asked her to be here today. How are you doing today, Michelle? I am amazing. Thank you so much, Frank. So excited to be here and share. Awesome. Perfect. So Michelle and I, what we're going to do is just walk you through that guide that kind of gave you some step by steps with just some pointers. And as you kind of hear from Michelle today, it's not so much saying you have to do it exactly this way, but it's giving you a, a schematic, a general game plan on how to kind of get the ball rolling. And then you can put your own personal spin on it. So what I'll do, Michelle, is I'll start that uh, that PowerPoint and you just let me know when to go on to those next pages and we'll continue to flow with that. Sound good? Awesome. Awesome. Hey, guys, I was taking some notes, um, Frank, as you were speaking. And the first thing that I want to say to you is just do it. It doesn't matter what it looks like. Let it be messy. It Just do it. The, the only way that you're ever going to build confidence in this business is by taking the first step. Nobody expects you to be perfect. There's so many times that I remember in the beginning of my career, I'd see people and I'd be like, oh, they're so polished. They look so amazing. Do it messy because people relate to that. People relate to you. So just show up. So why host? Because for the simple reason of if you think back, and maybe you're new and you don't know this about Life Bandage, you know, Protandum came out way before it turned into network marketing. And the reason why they switched to that platform is because the shelves don't talk, people do. So think of it this way. The only way you're going to get the message of what Life Bandage is and the products that we have to offer is to get it out to the masses. And the best way to do that is to host. Now, maybe you're somebody who's thinking, oh, my gosh, I'm I'm so nervous about doing this. Pick what makes sense to you. Do it in person. Do an online event. It doesn't matter how you start. Just start. So why do we host for that exact reason? To be able to get it out to the people and explain to them what it is that we're doing and what our platform is. Next slide, Frank. OK, so inviting. So inviting can be scary. I'm just going to put it out there, you know, it, it can be scary. So my advice to you is to always reach out to those, you know, we all have them, right? Whether it's your mom, your dad, your sister, your best friend, we all have those people that at two o'clock in the morning, if you have a flat tire, you know, you can pick up the phone and they'll be there in a second. You want to reach out to those people first. Why? Because you know, you're going to get a win and it's going to build confidence. Okay. So, but like this says, you know, 
again, you guys, these are just guides. So do what makes sense to you. You know, whether it's a list, maybe 10 people is very scary to you. And, and I'll tell you this, right? I don't want to say reach out to one or two people because it is a numbers game, right? I remember way back in the beginning, somebody said to me, for every 30 people you reach out to, or I think it was actually for every 100 you reach out to, you're probably going to get three yeses. I know that seems overwhelming, but just remember it is a numbers game, right? And no never means no. It just means not now, okay? So invite, invite, invite. And when it comes to inviting, yes, there's a script right here, but a couple of things I want to just preface to you guys, whether you want to follow it to the T, awesome. Whether you want to put your own spin on it, speak from the heart. Don't say, hey, girl, hey, 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 what's up? Okay, a couple of things. First name, me personally, I am huge on voice clipping, right? People want to hear your excitement. People want to hear your authenticity. It's great to send a message if that's what you're feeling comfortable with, but voice clips are amazing. So I highly recommend doing that. Next, please. Um, okay. If somebody was to ask me the most important thing and why I personally have had a lot of success, it's follow up. Follow up is key, whether it's before the event, during, after, follow up, follow up, right? If you invite somebody and they say yes, let's just be honest. I don't know about you, but like when I have something to do, I go and I have to set a reminder on my phone because I forget, okay? So just because you invited somebody and they said yes, life happens. They may not have put it in their calendar. They may have forgotten. So, you know, a day before the event, give them a little, you know, hey, Frank, so excited that you're going to be coming to the event. Just want to remind you it's tomorrow night, seven o'clock, my house. We're going to be having some tastings. We're going to be chatting. It'll be a great chance for you to ask all your questions. I'll share the science. Really excited for you to come. Keep it really simple. Um, I'm just reading this. Yep, two to three days. Reminder, you have to. You just have to. Um, and that's all I'm going to say on that. <laughs> Next slide. Okay. So again, this is a great format. The one thing um, I wrote down on here is, is know your audience, know your demographic, okay? That is super important. And one thing Frank said in the beginning is, you know, this is the same with your business, you guys. We have a lot of amazing products, okay? But if you fire hose every single thing that we have to offer to everybody all the time, you're never gonna find your niche. And it's super important for you to find your niche. And I'm not saying not offer all the products that we have, but figure out what speaks to you, right? You didn't join Life Vantage and, well, okay, I did. I ordered the business. <laughs> I mean, I just wanted to know what we had. But with that being said, I don't use every single product we have every single day, okay? So figure out what it is that speaks to you, okay? And always remember, this is a really, if this helps, when I get people started on product, I get them started on what makes sense to them, what resonated for them, and then I do what's called a layering effect. Um, and we could talk about this later. Just remind me, Frank, about, because this goes under follow-up. But, you know, figure out what it is that works for you. So if collagen's your jam, then you're doing collagen, you know? If Pro Tandem or the tri Trisynergizer, I, I renamed it the Trifecta, but the Trisynergizer speaks to you, then, then do that. But just remember, you know, if Axio is your thing, do that or make a combination that makes sense. So the way that the flow is going to go, look, nobody's ever going to come, if it starts at seven, know that you're not starting at seven, right? Uh, I, I mean, I live in Los Angeles, nobody is ever on time. So that beginning time is your opportunity to have things out, to sip and sample, right? So for example, um, I have a bar studio. So I put out a table and I literally did this, you guys. I had, and this is kind of fun. I had the hand cream. I had Axio. I had caffeinated and decaffeinated. So I had like two cups out so they could choose. Um, and then what I did is I went and I got um, little sample cups and I poured the collagen in it, right? You don't have to give a whole thing of collagen. If maybe you're brand new, okay, 
money might be tight for you. So you don't want to like blow one whole bottle on one person. They only need, let, let me tell you something. The number one people want to know is how does it taste? Yes, they want to know that it works. They want to know how it tastes because I don't know about you. I've tasted a lot of stuff out there and there's a lot of stuff out there that is blah. Um, our product actually tastes amazing, warm and cold. And that's huge because there's a lot of collagen out there that like only tastes good if it's cold. So know that you have an amazing tasting product and that's what people are going to want to know. So like when I had my booth set up, people would walk in. I'd be like, give me your hand. I put the cream right on, rub it in. They're like, ooh, okay, first touch. That was like caffeine or decaf, you know, put in your water bottle, let's go. And then here, try some collagen, right? I actually also bought a tower um, of the um, sample packs and I gave out samples of the vitamin and I said, take this tomorrow. You do what makes sense to you, okay? Now, um, gather everybody. So again, some people like to do a PowerPoint. Um, maybe that's your thing, right? I am not um, gifted in that area. <laughs> so I just kind of like a laid back. I get up, I share my story. Um, if there are, I, I would recommend now, if you're brand new, you might not have a great story. So it might make sense to borrow. Look, it's super important guys. If you don't have your own story, borrow it from somebody else until you have your own. Um, but as you get going, you know, you can have people come share their stories. And, and I want to say this, right? It doesn't matter if you have one person. It doesn't even matter if you have zero, right? Because it's your chance to practice. One person, great. Because let me tell you something. One person has a mouth. And if you get that person good results, they're going to chat it up and they're going to tell their friends, okay? So always remember you're looking for that referral. So one is as great as five, is as great as 10, is as great as 30. Does not matter the number. It just matters that you're doing something because getting into action is what's going to continue you to have success. Um, highlight products. Yeah, I mean, you definitely, what I would recommend is whatever you decide it's a sample, highlight it and then you know it depends some people have different i am a very um interactive person i like people to ask questions i like to give that opportunity i do recommend that you hold off till the end <laughs> um but give an opportunity for people to ask questions what's really amazing about this this company you guys is there's so much science behind it that you don't need to convince you don't need to do anything except for hey go here, go to PubMed. Let me show you this. Our app is amazing. You know, when you send links to people, they get the opportunity to see everything about it. So that's super important. Um, okay. So the business opportunity, everybody has their own way about doing this. Okay. I find that if I'm super business from start to end, you're gonna turn a lot of people off. And I'm not saying it's not the right way to go, but a strong business is built, in my personal opinion, about people that get on product, have success with the product or some sort of, you know, there has to be a passion connected to it, right? Now, I happen to be one of those people that my business builders come out of my customers. I, I would rather, and again, to each is his own. I definitely think you should always talk about the business, never leave it, you know, but maybe at the end be like, guys, you know, there is a business opportunity to this. I will be honest with you. I got on product. I loved what I saw. I saw that there was a business opportunity. So I said, all right, let's go. So if there's anyone that's interested in learning about the business, I can do an overview right now quickly, or we can meet after. Allow your audience to make the choice. That is just one way that I go about it. Um, I just feel that sometimes, and, and this is no disrespect to network marketing, but a lot of times people have stigmas behind the word network marketing. So they already have something built up in their mind. So the last thing you want to do is give them the ammo to back up what they're thinking, but instead, you know, kind of backdoor it, you know, it's, let me tell you something. I am celebrating my husband. And I have been in this business 17 years next month, 17 years. 
I will speak about this opportunity till the day I die. I think it's the best thing since sliced bread. But the person that introduced it to me didn't get into my face about it, right? I got to see over time what this has done for my family, what it's done for other people's families, right? Never negate the business, but there's no need to shove it down somebody's throat. Um, yeah, I think I think I covered that next. <laughs> Okay, um, make it fun. Absolutely. So look, okay, <laughs> I'm an East Coast Italian. Um, uh, I have very little filter. I, 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 I'm, a, <laughs> I'm a work in progress. So I'll just put it to you this way. This goes back to knowing your demographics, okay? So um, Frank, if you want to like cut this out of the presentation, just kidding. Listen, Axio flavors this summer, that watermelon, and the pineapple, I do not recommend doing the pineapple if you're events at night, but you know, know your demographic. If you're inviting over a bunch of your mom friends that you know, you might have some um, cocktails at the pool with the mommy juice, putting a little vodka in that Axio, I'm just saying, know <laughs> your demographic. Um, so yeah, get some music on, make it fun, have food, you know, whatever makes sense to you. Make it as fun and laid back because here's the thing. If it's relatable, people are going to feel like they can do it too. If you put on this like elaborate, crazy thing that people cannot relate to, they're not going to believe that they can do it themselves. So again, know your demographic and just speak to your demographic. I love this about giveaways. I am huge on giveaways. I will give you one tip. I made this mistake once and I never did it again. Um, giveaway should always be done at the end of the presentation because you want them to stay. This is totally up to you. I like to change it up. I do two giveaways. I give a giveaway just because you showed up. I also do a giveaway to people that place an order that night. So you want to reward those for showing up because, hey, thank you. <laughs> That's how we build our business. But you also want to reward those people that 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 placed an order. That's just my two cents. That has always worked really well for me. And then, oh, follow up. Okay, so this is key. At the end of the event, oh, perfect. Look at that. Perfect. No, you can go to that next one. At the end of the event, right? It's super important. Remember, I said referrals are the the basis to your business. You know, a if somebody orders. Great. Say, hey, would you like, I can come to your house and we can invite some friends like that. You know, be, I'll tell you where there's one place that I'm very bold with. Maybe there was somebody at your event and they're like, you know, it wasn't for me. I'm not interested. Totally get that, Sally. Thank you so much for coming. I really appreciate it. Um, but I do work on referrals. Do you know of anybody that maybe might be interested in product or hosting an event? Because that would mean the world to me. Ask for the referrals. What's the worst thing they could say is no. I'm just saying, and, and I will tell you this, you know, um, a couple of things. Follow up is key. Always thank people for coming to your event. And I will tell you this. I don't know, like, okay, so if it's a nighttime event, I don't know that I would follow up that night. But I will tell you, you definitely want to follow up in the first 24 hours. I usually, like, if I have a night event, I'm thanking them the next morning. Um Always do that. Thank them for coming. You know, um, people, I feel like the world has kind of gotten away from five-star customer service. What does five-star customer service look to you? You know, for me, a great um, tip that I, I'll share with you when it comes to follow-up and when I told Frank to remind me because I just remembered, when somebody orders with me, this is a great way to introduce them to other things that we have, right? So if somebody orders collagen for me, I always, I actually have it right here. Hold on, I'll show you what I do. And I went to, I went to Amazon um, and I just got these thank you cards, okay? And so when somebody orders with me for the first time or if they're at the in-person event, I will give it to them there. I always send a thank you note with three axios. Why do I do that? It doesn't have to be three. You could choose whatever you want. I just happen to like the number three. Um, I want to thank them. I want them to know that they're not just a number with me, that I really value 
that they're that they're trusting in me and it gives them an opportunity to see what else we have so that's just a little trick but whether you want to you know send samples or not that's totally up to you but thank you notes go a long way and on the side note I also that app if you're not using the app you guys kudos to the team for building that app because that when it beeps and tells me you just have a new customer or so and so just ordered just because it's not their first order go in there and send them a thank you note and um you know again it's a blanket statement that they send with the app you can just do -do 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 and write your own you know do what makes sense for you um and then da, 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 da. okay this is also super important they said they were coming to your event and they didn't show up don't shame them don't make them feel like crap okay just send them a note and say hey veronica i'm so sorry we missed you um i'm having another one if you are um i know life is tough and things get in the way if you're still interested with your permission please ask for permission um, don't just spam people. Um, I would love to send you some information um, on the product line. Or if you could also back it up, say, hey, sorry, I missed you. You know, you said you were coming. Was there a specific reason where you, why you were coming? Like, do you have some specific health goals? Ask the questions, you guys. Ask the questions. And don't just spam them with your, unless they ask, I don't ever just send my, I call it the catalog, you know, your, your full link don't just send it to them if they ask you for it that's one thing but you know if they're looking for specific things send them what they're asking for it's just really start listening to what people want ask the questions um yeah new consultants thank them for attending make sure you guys this is something that i learned in the very beginning of my career in my first company they had an over the top follow up system, but I gotta tell you something, 17 years later, I still pretty much use it, okay? You wanna know how to retain customers, you're gonna thank them when they first order. The app already tells you, hey, Frank's order's dropping, send them a note, say, hey, Frank, your order's dropping, you should see in the next day, make sure you connect with me. Look, some people will, some people won't, make sure you reach out to them when their stuff arrives okay you can figure that out all you have to do is click on the the um the little thing that says uh what's the word i'm looking for you know their uh ups they're tracking click on it you know when they get it okay walk them through how to take product and then you pick what makes sense i like to follow up on day four day 10 and this is super important day 22 why a i want to know how they're doing b newsflash their next subscription is going to happen right are we going to keep it the same can i tailor it for you do you want to add do you want to subtract what do you want to do right you want to ensure and keep people on product and you guys this is just something that i i reiterate to people from the very beginning and i'm constantly always saying it we are not that and i really don't believe any product is but we're not that quick fix swallow it and you're going to feel amazing in two days kind of company okay the research shows that being on pro tandem for 30 days across the board on anybody that's been tested it's going to lower it by 40 percent, 70 by 90 days right so we really want to talk when we talk to people let them know i need at least a 90-day commitment from you right you did not use whatever analogy makes sense to you. I use this analogy all the time. You got pregnant and you didn't just have a baby in 30 days. It took you nine months to build that baby and grow it in your belly. Well, guess what? You're not going to pop that kid out and have a flat stomach a day later either, right? As much time as you put into it. So I always say to people, you didn't not sleep well. You didn't have terrible energy. You didn't have brain fog for two days. So don't expect it to disappear in two days. Be honest with people. Um, new customers, thank you for attending. Yes. Always thank people, right? People appreciate the fact that you appreciate them. Uh, yes. Um, you know, um, giveaways are huge i'm gonna say it again people love to get free things it is what it is whether it's samples of the products that you have um 
whether it's, you know, Starbucks gift card, whether it's an Amazon gift card, um, you know, always be, always write out your calendar, right? Like I would recommend, I like for me, I found out that my studio Wednesdays are like the prime day. That's when we have our best numbers. So I try to do an event one to two times a month at my studio on Wednesdays. I don't always, you know, but find what works and get some consistency going, right? In the beginning, it's always slow. I'm just going to tell you, right? You, you, you may have a whole bunch of people come and then it may slow down. It, it's like, it's always going to be like this, but consistency is key, right? Consistency is you don't have to be balls to the wall 24 seven, but be consistent in everything that you do whether it's posting on social media, talking to people about your product a little bit every single day, guys. Consistency is what builds your business. Not a minute here, take some time off. A minute here, take some time off. Do a little bit every single day. And, and the last thing I want to leave you with is keep it simple, right? Kiss. Keep it simple, sweetheart. Do what makes sense for you. If somebody says to you, like I said in the beginning, inviting 10 people, I think that's a, a low number to start with. That's just in my experience, but that might be scary for you. So whatever it is that you decide to do, do it and stick to it and then grow it a little bit every single day, right? You're not going to go run a marathon the first time that you go running, right? So whether you invite five people the first time, the next time you're going to invite seven. Add a little bit, right? My favorite thing to say, how do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. You're speaking the truth right there, my friend, Michelle. That is fantastic. And yeah, and that's the thing. It's just be like you. I love the fact that you called that out, being consistent with it. All these tips that are laid out right here are just giving you, again, that structure, giving you that flow of just saying, well, what do I do? Or here's some tips that you can start off with. And another big piece is that you can utilize your upline to help you set these up. You're going to have somebody who's been doing this to be like, hey, you got me here. How do I start this process? So another piece of advice is. Always Thank you for saying. Out. Yeah. And I left that out. And, and one thing I want to say, because I, I find this happens a lot, you guys, you are never, ever, ever, ever bugging your upline. You, you cannot put us to work too much. I don't know what the stigma is. I have seen it for 17 years. I didn't want to bug you. Are you kidding me? Can I be real with you guys? Yeah, if you yeah. don't bug us, your business doesn't grow. Our business doesn't grow. Nobody's business grows. We are a team. We work together. You are not bugging us because your success ensures our success, which ensures our, our up, up line success. It, we are in this together. You are never alone. And if you feel like you're alone, then find somebody, you know, again, maybe your upline is just not your personality. It happens, you guys, but there is a huge team here. And this is my most favorite thing about this company is I have never seen so much cross line support, sharing and building up. And I have been in a couple of companies. I've been around for 17 years. We are all here to help you utilize your support system. Okay. I'm off my sofa. Yeah. There's experience out there. So if somebody's done it before, why wouldn't I touch base with them? So thank you for hammering home with those points, my friends. Again, this gives you guys an example of how Michelle does it. You know, the way the approach that she takes is just finding your rhythm. Like she talked about, find your consistency, find your niche, find your group, find your product. And in doing so, this is where we're going to slowly build your confidence. And as she talked about, your group of five turns into 10, turns into 15, turns into 20. Next thing you know, you're teaching somebody else some of the benefits and the things that you did where it was a little bit messy in the beginning and how you cleaned it up and what you did to get better. Offering that to say to your upline is give me feedback. What could I have done differently with this one compared to the last one? So Always be growing, learn from the things that you want to gain better enhancements with and utilize that. So we also wanted to make sure everybody had the QR codes that show you the launch guide, 
you know, the, the hosting event guide that we have set up, along with, again, the recognition uh, perks program. So those QR codes are there for a reason. We we'll want you guys out there taking a look at the information, reviewing it. And as we talked about, if you're someone brand new, fantastic. This is a stepping point for you to get into action. If you've been around and evolved, kind of paused you a little bit, let's get that ball rolling. Let's ensure that you are getting back out there and hosting those events. If you haven't tried the collagen or tried a certain Axio, this is your opportunity to try something new, maybe host an event around that product and learning and gaining all the information around it. So when you speak on it, you feel that confidence. So just know, as uh, Michelle talked about, we have a lot of folks here that have a lot of experience. Please reach out. We want to be able to offer that assistance in any way possible. And first, my friend, thank you, Michelle, so much for thank offering you. the support. This was great. It gave everybody a clear idea of, again, what we're here to do and understanding that these host guides are there for a reason. It's a starting point. It's to get everybody, get, get them going, get them excited, and ensuring that they are starting their life vantage journey off on the right foot. So, And make sure you bookmark hub at lifevantage.com because if you didn't see that roll out this weekend that i i was like that's <laughs> it's, it's awesome it's it's you need to just i bookmarked it the second i saw it on my computer so make sure you go and do that you're going to get all up to date information right so that you don't have to rely on your upline and everybody will be guys take responsibility for your own business love that just take love responsibility that. for your own business You'll, you, there's trainings in there and then there's everything you need to know and what promos are going on. So if you have not, hub at lifevantage.com, bookmark it. Okay. Hub.lifevantage.com. That's a resource utilizing my friends and are always open to feedback. So please reach out to the call center, tell your upline to reach out. So that way we're ensuring we're hearing your voices, but that'll end today's training. Thank you guys all so much. Appreciate any feedback that's sent back into the chat. We are always here to help and to get better. We're, we're doing as well. So thank you for your time. You guys have a great day. Bye.